In the volatile landscape of international politics, a question looms large. Will the rising tensions between Iran and Israel spiral into a full-blown conflict? Recent events suggest that the possibility, while still remote, is inching closer to reality. Our tale begins on a significant day in Iran's calendar, National Army Day. On this day in 2024, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi issued a stern warning to Israel, cautioning against any aggression towards Iran. This was no hollow threat, as Raisi underscored Iran's military capabilities, showcasing a vast array of missiles, drones, and military vehicles. Iran, he reminded the world, was self-sufficient in producing weapons and ready to defend itself, further outlining plans for a maritime security center and naval activities in the Sea of Oman and the Indian Ocean. Fast forward to an event that sent shockwaves through the international community. In 2024, Iran was once again under attack, this time with reports hinting at Israeli involvement. Iran's response? A warning, and a potent one at that. Any further actions against Iran's interests, they said, would be met with an immediate and maximum level response. The drones involved in the attack were not sophisticated, and a link to Israel had not been proven, stated Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian. Yet the incident, described as an attack by infiltrators rather than Israel, resulted in air defenses downing three drones over Isfahan. Israel maintained its silence on the incident, while the United States denied involvement in offensive operations. But let's rewind a bit. Even before this incident, Iran's intelligence minister, Mahmoud Alavi, had warned that Iran could reverse its stance on pursuing nuclear weapons if international sanctions continued, despite Iran's claims that its nuclear program was for peaceful purposes. Alavi hinted at a change of direction if pushed. This statement came in the aftermath of the U.S. withdrawal from the nuclear deal in 2018, which led Iran to violate its commitments. Among the many flashpoints in this tense relationship was the killing of a top nuclear scientist, Mohsen Fakhrizadeh. Iran blamed Israel for this incident, vowing to avenge Fakhrizadeh's death. Yet, Israel remained silent on the matter. The International Atomic Energy Agency and U.S. intelligence agencies, however, believe Iran's nuclear weapons program ended in 2003. In a world where the balance of power is delicately poised, the rising tensions between Iran and Israel serve as a stark reminder of the potential for conflict. Today, we've delved into the sequence of events that have escalated these tensions, from Iran's National Army Day warnings to the mysterious drone attack and the ominous threat of a maximum-level response. With the specter of nuclear weapons in the mix, the stakes are higher than ever. As we conclude, it's worth noting that while tensions are escalating, the hope for de-escalation and diplomacy remains. In the intricate dance of international politics, the next move is always the most important. In this case, the world watches and waits, hoping that the next move will be one towards peace rather than war.